Hello everyone, my name is Anderson Santos and you are watching Cashier Word. This is the part 4 of a 5 series videos we are making about vegan cheese. And the topic today is vegan cheese science, which is not that different from any science behind fermented foods. There are some things that create flavor and some things that can create off flavor and those are the ones you want to avoid. You might have heard before that a cheese is a living thing. There are lots of microorganisms that will create flavors and develop the cheese. But what exactly is happening there? And that's what I want to explain today. Like I mentioned in another video, you have fat, protein and sugars, and that will support the fermentation and the development of your vegan cheese. So, when you're thinking about fermented foods, one of the first things you might think of is bacteria. And why are they important? They are in your yogurt, they are in your sauerkraut, they are in your pickles, and so on. And when you think about them, you might think about this acid, the lactic acid, which some people think, oh, lactic acid comes from milk, from, but it's not, it is from bacteria. And this lactic acid is this sour flavor that you get in your yogurt or in your sauerkraut. So what's important about the bacteria? Some bacteria will create this lactic acid, which will make your cheese a bit more sour and will protect your cheese from unwanted bacteria. So one of the roles of the bacteria is to drop the pH, make the cheese a bit more sour and longer shelf life, so it will protect your cheese. But some bacteria might create enzymes that will create different flavors. That's why you have the cheese tartar culture and you have the mesophilic cultures. Usually the mesophilic cultures will create a bit more flavor than the cheese tartar. The cheese tartar will focus on being more sour, the mesophilic cultures into creating a bit more flavor. But you don't want your cheese to be too sour, otherwise it might affect the growth of the other microorganisms we want in our cheese. One good example is the camembert. You don't want your camembert to be too sour, otherwise the mold might not grow well. That brings us to the next topic, molds. So when you have blue cheese or camembert, you have the bacteria that grew into the cheese, but you ha have the molds and the molds are responsible first for the look and second and most importantly for the flavors. And why are they so important for the flavors? That's because when the mold grows, it releases some enzymes. The enzymes are capable of breaking down proteins, for example, and when they break the big molecule of protein into smaller pieces, some of these molecules will become flavor compounds. So the important part of the mold is one, to help to protect the cheese, but most importantly, to create flavors. And how does the mold create flavor? Is that when it grows, it creates an enzyme that will go into the protein, break it down, and while it's breaking down, it creates new flavors. And finally, you have the yeast, and the yeast can create good flavors, just like many vegan cheese ask for nutritional yeast, which are yeast grown sugars. And you also can have a weird tasting yeast like in sourdough, which you usually don't want in your vegan cheese. So you need to create an environment where the bacteria, the molds and the yeast grow together to create the best flavors. So you need an environment in your cheese that can help that the bacteria, the molds and the yeast grow together and help each other to select only the good tasting bacteria, the good tasting molds and so on. How do you do that? By controlling the acidic of your cheese, by controlling how much salt you add to your cheese and finally, which temperature it's been aged. In a very cold fridge, your cheese won't be able to develop a lot of the bacteria and the yeast and the molds. In a very warm temperature, 
it might over ripen or might be able to grow unwanted molds and yeast and bacteria. So you want to find the perfect range for the amount of flavor you want in your cheese. At Cashewbert, we offer the bacteria, the molds and the yeast that you can add to your cheese to create flavor. But it doesn't mean that you will get by the end only those bacteria. When you are aging your cheese, it will grow other yeast, other bacteria that are in your environment and they will also have an effect on your cheese. So when you think about fermented foods, you can go from sauerkraut to miso or soy sauce. And in between, you have a huge range of flavors you can achieve. And the sauerkraut will be a bit more sour and the miso will have this very complex flavor. And the reason for that is that miso will have a lot of protein. And this protein can break down into more flavor compounds. And if you think about it, you can use that in your advantage. You don't want to have a lot of protein in a cheese. You don't want to have lack of fat in your cheese and you don't want it to be too sour. And we at Cashewbert want to understand better what are those flavors you can achieve with vegan cheese. With our basic recipes, you can get a gist of what can you do to achieve a better vegan cheese. But we are working to improve our recipes create new recipes, and in the near future, you have a range of new cultures. Thank you for watching.